<laughs> metabolism. I know this is the age old word. This is why you can't lose weight. This is why you can't lose weight. But the truth is, is that most of you don't even understand what the metabolism is, how to speed it up, or how to make it more effective for you. So let's talk about that today. First of all, what is the metabolism? Because people have all these ideas. The metabolism is made up of four things. Your BMR, this is your basal metabolic rate. This is how many calories you burn at rest. This is how many calories you're burning when you're just sitting around. Then it's made up of the TEF. This is the thermic effect of food. Because when we digest food, we burn calories in the process. It's not completely easy for our body. And this does add to our daily calorie expenditure. We have our PAEE, -E. this is the physical activity energy expenditure, which is how many calories we're burning when we're trying to burn calories, when we're going to the gym, when we're working out, when we're doing things where we're focused on burning calories. And then our last is NEAT, which is our non-exercise activity thermogenesis. This is not working out, but still movement. This is when you're walking around the office, when you're bouncing your leg, this is getting up, this is taking the stairs instead. That's what NEAT is. And this is at the end of the day, what your metabolism is made up of with a few other factors. What the metabolism is not, to be extremely clear, metabolism is not a fixed number. You are not set in a space where your metabolism is horrible and it will always be horrible. We move clients' metabolisms all the time. It's actually very simple when you know what you're doing. It can go up significantly and put you in a place where you feel like you finally have a great metabolism. It is not all about age. So many people all the time say, oh, well, I'm postmenopausal, my, my, my metabolism is ruined. I, uh, I'm over 30, my metabolism's ruined. I, I, I'm in my 50s, you know you can't lose weight because your metabolism's ruined. It's just not true. It is so, there's so many factors to it, but age is actually very low on the list. And it is not permanently damaged. So many people think they did something in their life or they made bad choices, and now their metabolism is set in a bad place forever. And once again, this is just not true. Your metabolism is not permanently damaged. Your metabolism can easily be fixed. It can easily, easily become much faster and much healthier. So we've all heard some of the myths, like eating small meals will increase your metabolism. It's just not true. Eating smaller meals and eating more frequently has no effect on the speed to which your metabolism functions. Eating big meals, small meals will all do the same thing as long as the calories per day are identically the same. That it slows after 30, it, it, it doesn't. I said, most of the effects that we consider aging on the metabolism have to do with muscle mass reduction over time. If you equalize for muscle mass, there actually isn't a slowing of the metabolism as you age as long as you can maintain your muscle mass. And uh, it can be supercharged by certain foods. There's all these people selling detox teas and, oh, if you put this in your diet, your metabolism will go crazy. And it's just not true. There are some foods that'll increase TEF, and we'll talk about that, but there's not any supercharged foods that'll just make your metabolism fly off the chart. So let's, let's really get into it, like I said, because I know what you're here for. You want to speed up your metabolism, so let's do it. So the first, and in my opinion, the most important thing you can do is you can increase your knee. This is your non-exercise activity thermogenesis. This is what you're doing, the calories you're burning from walking around, from the little things in your day you're doing, bouncing your leg. This is so easy to increase. Increase your step count, take the stairs, try to walk around when you're on the phone. So many of these healthy habits that'll increase your knee. Most people have been shown that they burn about 50% of their calories from NEAT. So think about, if you sit on your butt all day, if you don't walk, you might cut down your daily calorie burn by 50%. That is massive. The second thing we can focus on is building muscle. This is gonna go back to the BMR. We can significantly increase our basal metabolic rate by adding muscle. Because for every pound of muscle you put on, they say you burn about an extra seven calories an hour. I think it's a little less, but still it's a significant number. If you put on 10 pounds of muscle, you might be able to eat 500 extra calories a day and not gain any weight, which is beautiful. Protein. So many people are not incentivizing enough protein in their diet. One, if you don't have enough protein, you're gonna lose muscle over time, like we talked about, which is the biggest thing that reduces your metabolism over time. So make sure you have enough protein that you don't lose your muscle mass that you desperately wanna keep. And so you can build that muscle mass you desperately wanna gain, and protein is the only macronutrient that actually increases TEF, the thermo effect of foods. It actually, takes about one calorie worth of burn to digest a single macronutrient of protein. So it's one of the only things you can eat that actually burns calories by eating it. Not all the calories, but a portion of them. Sleep is another one of the things. These things have been studied and studied time and time again. People who sleep less than six hours a night will reduce their metabolic rate by about 10 to 30%. That's huge, 30% on the high end, which means that if you are sleeping less than six hours a night and you're wondering why you're not losing weight, we might've just found the culprit. It's not your metabolism. 
Hydration is huge. If you are underhydrated, certain processes of the body will not function, and some of those directly affect your metabolism. And there's even studies showing that just drinking cold water, once again, one of these tiny little things, can increase the amount of calories you burn in a day by 10, 20%. Like I said, food education is the thing I really want to hit home on. There are so many people who think they have a slow metabolism. They think that they're screwed. They think they've tried everything. But the truth is, is that they just don't have true education when it comes to food. They're putting oils all over their vegetables, and, and butter in the pan before they cook their eggs and, and so many other examples we could talk about where they're adding so many calories to what they're considering their healthy foods and they're never gonna lose weight this way. And they blame their metabolism, they blame all these other things, but it's just not the case. And the last thing that's, once again, one of the most important things is your habits. Most of the people that we point fingers at and we say, these people have high metabolisms, they're different than me. Most of these people have better habits than you. They have better habits when it comes to food. They tend to eat smaller portions. They tend to eat less often. They tend to move more. They tend to be more jittery and get up and go. And all of these things can be added to your life too. So if you want to speed up your metabolism this year, it really is, is as easy as these seven things. And if you put these in place, you will lose weight in ways that you didn't even know you could without even trying if you just get these seven things in line. So make sure you don't finish this year with the slow metabolism that you think you've been living with this whole time.